Hey right guys, Trey from Much Is Joe here, and today we are watching and reacting to episode 7 of The 100 Season 7. Last episode was decent, uh, just kind of, you know, the one thing I was a bit confused on was Gabriel just shocking everyone at the end, but some people pointed out that, um, you know, going out into the wilderness could have been more risky than, you know, taking hostages and these by these guys. But my only thing was, it's like some people pointed out as well, is what if they just shot them on sight? I know that wasn't going to be the case because, you know, plot armor and the 100 weren't going to just shoot a bunch of the characters in the face. But Gabriel didn't know that. Like, Gabriel just took a huge risk and, I, I don't know, I feel like it kind of lost me with his character a little bit as I kind of have with Echo as well. Um, Echo, I kind of understand a bit more because, like, from her point of view, the thing she's doing makes sense, but I just don't like it. <laughs> I just don't like where she's at. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens with episode 7, guys. We're almost halfway through the final season already uh, after the next episode. So, yeah, if you enjoy, remember to leave a like. If you're new, remember to subscribe. And, of course, if you want the uncut reactions to the 100, then the link to the Patreon page will be down below. But for now, let's do this. But my friends, what happened to Well, you're not going to know, mate, because you zapped them all. You got them captured. Oh yeah, this episode was directed by Lindsay Morgan as well, uh, who plays Raven, of course. So. As we've always, when an actor directs an episode, I like to see how well they do. <laughs> like Troy in Pretty Little Lives actually did very well with her episode. You like this? Imagine if this was Raven and him. Oh, that'd be so cute. Hey, Lindsay Morgan. There you go. That's what you like to see. This one's interesting. You've been through a lot. <laughs> yeah, for a kid. So strong. That's for sure. Didn't they have a dog in a house? Right. Where's that gone? They had like a huge house that they right. bought. Like the premiere episode. You know, I do enjoy this season. It really does show that right. Bellamy is yeah. like the heart of the show. Like without him, you just kind of. I don't know. I do kind of miss. Yo, know, that was a terrible right. kick. What the fuck was that? Here. She went to play some soccer and then ruined the match. See, this guy thinks he's so OP, but really at the moment. Nice to have a conversation What's he doing? I know he's going to do some old mad, but... I'll give you what you want most of all. And what is that exactly? Enlighten me, please. A chance to be a hero. Great, it seems a bit unfair though, like he doesn't know how to play chess, you do. Oh, how can he turn down a game of chess? Come on. Yo, how J.L. Bourne play Joel? I don't give a fuck. Oh shit, finally! told you on my weaknesses. I don't think Bellamy, I know it's not like this is like throwback, but I'll take it. Shaved Bellamy, look at him. Yo, I am sorry, but if this show ends without the ships you won't get oh my god. <gasps> Clark and Bellamy don't get together, Raven and Murphy, I just all cry. Oh my god, yes, yeah, so romantic. My favourite ship. To be fair, they won't even be that bad if it just wasn't for Clark. Like, that's what we all want to see. Like, I don't well, this was around the time where I didn't even hate Echo. She was actually pretty good. I've been there. It's not your fault. Yeah, I know. It, we all know it's not our fault, really. It's just... Bellamy ain't dead. <laughs> Bellamy really ain't dead. I, love it. I can't get invested in scenes like this, because... He ain't dead. You're just mad because I turned out to be a killer like you. Right. I mean, everyone in the world of the 100 is a killer, so that's not really original. Everyone's a killer. Name one character who hasn't done some of battle, killed someone. I mean, it's probably a few, but not many. Join us. One of us. One of us. <laughs> Wait for him to start channeling that around him. Oh, and Amor has spotted it. Nelson. You know nothing about me. Yeah, we really don't. You're kind of a character that was shoved in. Uh, but you never seen that bad, I guess. Because I felt it too. I'm done. I'm done. Let me do. Is Nelson going to come in clutch? They can burn. Oh, okay. All I care. Never mind. I mean, I assume you don't like women very much, but then again, how could you? Mother Where you got that one from? Conclave and become commander. Then For sure, just hates everyone. Lexa thing. Oh. Knowing that she is. Oh. Favorite when they hated you. I mean, fav Yeah, yeah true. I unite the clans. <laughs> Murphy knows the truth. Lex was everyone's fave. Just like they killed Lexa. Yeah, but they didn't kill it. It's like one guy being an idiot and it was an accident. It's not like they killed Lexa, it's not. Still the worst death in TV history, by the way. He's so sick. 
Yo, the direction's pretty shit. Pretty sick. Yeah, I was gonna say shit, then, but that's definitely not what I meant. <laughs> hey, yo, that's like maybe my favorite scene of the episode. I love that scene. John and JR Bourne going out over chess with their little I metaphors and stuff. Killer. I'm glad we have JL Bourne like being the embodiment of the the dark one instead of like the actual dark one being there because it's just JL Bourne plays it so well. So it's... he said terrorist, right? What difference does it make? Quite oh, quite a lot. Terrorist is quite a big deal. You weren't gonna tell me? Sure. Eventually, when you were old enough. I'm 25. <laughs> to me, you're not. <laughs> yeah, to 25. For the like... first time you looked at me, everything. No, your dad was a knob. He was a psychopath. Yeah. <laughs> cool blooded killer. He was a psychopath. There you go. To get him on my side in an uprising oh, on the Oh God. Not my best decision. It led to the. Best she is, at least she's being honest. We oh, you just. Echo, you and me. I like our chances. We did like our chances, and Gabriel fucked you over. We ain't taking Gabriel along with us this time. Put me on my ass, and I'll let you. Oh, one v one. Nah, Dio's is gonna destroy it. I'm sorry. Dio's is OP as fuck. Hey, oh, yeah. Is that all you got? Get wrecked. Look, it's like twice the size of her. She's buff. <laughs> Yo, we get to see how Lindsay can direct a fight scene. Better than Taken. That's for damn sure. Not hard. Just like that, you were gone. Out of nowhere. Mad. Gone. First time I spoke about that. Let's go back to the way things were, but we can't. How do we feel about home? Do we like her? I'm curious what you guys I'm think. I don't, I've not really seen many people talk about her. I can't. I think she's alright. She's like a middle character for me. I don't love her, but I don't. Like, she's not on screen, and I'm like, oh god, I hate her character. <laughs> we'll do her character tier list, of course, at the end of the season. With all the 100 characters, it's gonna be, gonna be a big video. <laughs> what have you done, Echo? What have you done? Oh, that's not that bad. We do it to symbolize the pain is over. She's so annoying. Uh, a little head twitch, thinking she's crazy. I'm spooky. Echo thinks she's the bee's bloody knees. Is he still playing chess? <laughs> hey, yes, Lindsay Morgan. <laughs> that was nice. Your frig drainer ceremony will almost certainly fail. <laughs> Correct. Oh my god. Oh, John. No. Oh god. We did the right thing. Okay. You are an abomination. Jesus. Well done, mate. Great. Good job, mate. You had one job, you fucked it up. Oh. Oh, yo. You stabbed him. I thought you, like, injected him or somewhere. Oh, there you go. That's a big old rip. And now she's mortified by him. That was a happy family reunion for about one minute. Oh, Jesus. Unreal. They've all been played. What the hell are you doing? Jesus. So are my people. Wow. <laughs> Yo, she got launched. And Maury just flew to another dimension. Where are the others? Lindsay Morgan in her own directed episode? What the fuck? No, he's not. Piss off. Oh, he ain't clogged. Don't believe this shit. I love how clogged's barely been in this season, by the way. I've like really just noticed like she's been in like what three episodes. Are we gonna see Bellamy? Bellamy's on the thirteenth floor? Question mark. Here we go. Here we go. Surely, surely. Or it's just gonna be something completely random. From the ashes. Come on. What is this, Bellamy? What the fuck? Oh, it's that guy. What? What the fuck? It's the shepherd then. 
Okay, uh, there we go guys, that is episode 7 of the 100 season 7, that's kind of set up there for the shepherd and seeing whatever he's going to be getting up to, but yeah, uh, this was a good episode, I enjoyed it, there was a couple of things in there that I didn't love, but then there was a couple of really good scenes as well. Uh, Lindsay Morgan's acting, uh, acting, I mean her acting's incredible, but uh, her directing in this episode was actually pretty good, there's quite a few shots that I noticed um, were, you know, effort were put into them and that's why like, whenever an actor kind of directs, an episode of a show that they're in, I like to kind of spot um, how, I don't know, just how much effort they kind of put in and uh, there was quite a few shots in this episode they could tell she was just trying with and like I said, I used uh, Troy in from Pretty Little Lies as an example but Pretty Little Lies directing was so by the books uh, in the later seasons so when she directed the episode it was, it was actually kind of nice where you could tell someone was putting an effort with like some of the tracking shots and stuff like that and then here it's, you know, she had some uh, good framing with, there's one with um, uh, hope like when uh, Joseph put a chair down I think and then there's like one one part of like hope in, in the chair in the crack of the chair or something and then you have to zoom out with the chessboard and the tables uh, some really good stuff there so fair play to Lindsay Morgan um, as for the episode however like say I think it was good um, I love the kind of Dioza and hope bond and them kind of talking about what happened uh, in like episode two was it or episode three which kind of disappeared uh, I loved the scenes between the Dark One or Jail Born, uh, Murphy. I think they were probably the best scenes of the entire episode. I loved their back and forth. I know that the Dark One was playing him the entire time, but the whole chessboard thing and, like I say, all the metaphors they were using worked for me. I loved it like that, so uh, really enjoyed those scenes. This whole, like, the villains all teaming up together, like, it was it was a matter of time until that happened, I guess. It's not the most investing storyline. It's just the villains are being villains. It's just like, okay, cool, so... Uh, in terms of like on the on the planet and then you know we have this anomaly side of things with them and the shepherd being villains as well but uh, they've got a bit more more to them i feel like with the story and trying to crack all the codes and stuff where they're just kind of like rising up and <laughs> you know doing what they need to do so we'll see what happens there but uh yo maury got slapped so hard <laughs> that was kind of funny which just flew off frame yeah i'll get and then clark's back as well clark raven and the gang so i, I kind of feel like we need a bit more raven and clark i've missed them uh, I know they were in an episode, was it last episode they were in? Last episode? Yeah, they were in the last episode, but then before that were they like missing for a couple of episodes? I can't, I can't remember too much, but uh, yeah, I miss Clark and Raven this episode, don't forget a bit more of them in episode 8. Uh, rating, I'll go a 7.2 out of 10 I think, I think it was a good episode. Like I say, I am starting to really miss Bellamy's character, I get, I get why. Uh, Bob Morley wasn't on set because I think they said he was really ill or something like when when they were filming this or uh, asked, for, asked for some time off which I think was good of him to do like if he needs time off to look after himself then I'm glad he did that um, but in terms of like the show and Bellamy's character it is kind of you know he's the heart of it like him and Clark they've been there since season one we love those characters um, so he's kind of you know to have him in one scene out of seven episodes it's just a bit it's a bit sad and I'm hoping he kind of comes back soon um for like the at least for the second half maybe i know we've got one more episode until we're into the, the final half of the show so hopefully for them um but like i say i'm still glad that bob took the time he needed uh, to look after himself and stuff so uh, i'm not too upset about it it's just Be bellamy is literally my favorite character of the entire show uh along with murphy raven and clark so Mur murphy's been in it loads so i'm glad he's in it raven and clark have been in it a lot of the time not all the time but a lot of the time and then um, Bob Morley and Bellamy has obviously not been in it at all, really, apart from one scene. And he had a scene this episode as well, but that was like a dream sequence kind of thing. So I don't, I don't really count that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there we go. I was 7.2 out of 10. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like and enjoy. Let me the episode down below in the comments. And I'll see you next week for episode 8. Until then, peace.